Hello, everybody, and welcome to this, the first episode of Mo Games. I am Mo Blunts. I love video games, but I don't get an opportunity to game on a regular basis, so I'm a perpetual noob. That's why I'm going to play through certain games and give you an honest review from the perspective of a new player, or a noob, as I am. So before we go any further, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and hit that little alert bell. You can find out when I go on live, online for my live streams called Noob Chronicles, where I give you a review in real time. Today I'm going to review Outer Worlds. This game came out in 2019, just in time for the pandemic. This game was made by Obsidian, who did a bunch of the Fallout games that I haven't played, so I don't really had, I didn't really have an idea uh, what the game was going to be like going into it. I was originally drawn to it because I love sci-fi. The graphics looked awesome, and the storyline resembled one of my favorite shows, Firefly. The game is t a totally cool first-person shooter, and you wield some really cool weapons. You can also pick up some companions and fill their storylines, and get a little help, a little help in battle along the way. Uh, the whole game sort of makes fun of a capitalist society run completely amok. So you want to make sure you're making money along the way, otherwise you can't get upgrades or new weapons. One thing I messed up was, uh, was my character's build. I was too focused on getting through the final boss, and I didn't even do the build right, so I had to fight a really epic battle. Oh, come on. I feel like games like Skyrim have a little better system of building your character, a little bit more immersive. Outer Worlds was pretty much just like totally stat based. Uh, I also found it difficult to find a path through certain levels. Uh, again, difference between Skyrim is you have that option of getting clairvoyance where you can set that up and get a path. Um, the load times uh, on the load streams were also extremely long at times. Uh, some of my streams are like two hours long and I spent like a whole like 45 minutes just loading. Um, uh, I would get turned around in certain levels and make uh, passes through multiple areas, like certain areas multiple times, uh, and it got a little frustrating. Um, after I downloaded the DLC Peril on Gorgon, I got super mad at how overpowered the henchmen were. Come on. Oh my god. Serious? Oh my god! Ugh. I was also thrown a little for a loop when I got back to the main storyline and everyone just like flopped dead all of a sudden. I was like, what the hell? I was like fighting each henchman like individually for like five minutes and I would get back to like Byzantium and be like, pow, 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 pow. They all die. Um, like, I get that the henchmen were on drugs or something like that, uh, but they were just like crazy overpowered, or my guy was just too weak. Uh, I was on forums and people were like, you gotta snipe them, like why all of a sudden do I have to be a sniper? Anyways, um, other than that, the game was super fun at times, I loved the immersive storyline where you can decide certain people's fates. To champion the project, however, the promise of Adrena time faded. And the Gorgon facility Because <laughs> I killed her. <laughs> uh, especially when it comes to screwing around with a bunch of capitalist pigs in the storyline. It was really fun. So uh, I'm going to get to my rating system. I'm basing my five point scale on the following. Fun, balance, gameplay, controls, storyline, or concept. So based on this, Outer Worlds gets a three out of five. The game was definitely fun, the controls were easy to figure out, and the storyline was super awesome and worth the play through the game. It was worth getting the game to play through it just for the storyline, um, but it was not completely balanced. It was not balanced, and it was hard to get around it at times, as I said. Uh, the new DLC comes out next week at the time that I'm filming this. It's called Murder on Eridanos. I might pick it up and stream it. I might not. 
make sure you subscribe and say hi during my streams on Noob Chronicles. So thank you for watching. I am Mo Blunts. Check out my website, moblunts.com. That's Mo with no E, Blunts with the Z, dot com. And I'll see you next time on Mo Games. Mo Blunts 13, logging off.